Next, we have Eastern Samar, Irish Ramos. Good morning, Irish. Hello, good morning, Sir V. Good morning, everyone. Tell us something interesting about yourself. Oh, um, to most people, they know me as a CEO of an egg farm, an entrepreneur, an advocate, and a well-rounded achiever. But what most of them do not know is that I've gone through difficult shifts in my life, and I have created pivotal decisions to be able to carry through and to thrive, such as when I had to shift from a medical course to a business track because we found out that I'm immunocompromised and my dream to becoming a doctor is no longer possible. But, you know, here we are still, nurturing and caring, just on a different platform. What makes someone influential in this day and age amidst the shallow social media noise? I guess what makes a person influential is the respect that they earn from the people that look up to them and the people who follow them. Because more than the flowery credentials, it's when that person stays true to their core, speaks with authenticity, and uses the skills and knowledge that they've gained to better not only his life, but also the lives of others, therefore empowering many others that makes the difference. How do you balance cultural and traditional values with modern day aspirations? And what advice would you give to other young Filipinas navigating this challenge? Um, I think our culture and tradition make up for most of our values. And this creates our actions compass. And when we mix this with our modern day knowledge, we become more equipped and we can advance through this ever-changing modern world. Ulmer? As a delegate for Miss Universe Philippines 2023, what does our national gem, the South Sea Pearl, represent to you? The South Sea Pearl for me represents the story of every Filipino. Its story of becoming is just as the story of every Filipino who's gone through difficulties in life, but has still emerged victorious, incredibly beautiful, and talented. And I think the South Sea Pearl is an emblem of our history. It's an emblem of her story and their stories. Smiley Apparel. How important do you think it is to support and promote locally made products like Smiley in the Philippines? When we patronize local, we do not only buy local products or support the business owner who owns the brand, but it's also a step towards advocating for sustainable livelihood. Because when we wear local, buy local, and patronize local, we are also supporting the economic sustenance of the workers who provide and create skillfully these local products. Thank you so much, Eastern Samar. Thank you. Irish Ramos. Have a great day, everyone.